Hello everyone, it's me, Matteo. Welcome back to my little RC garage. Thanks for watching. Today I go ahead with the build of the Tamiya Wild One Blockhead Motors Edition. The next step is 29, the preparation of the electronics. As you can see, I have everything connected and the steering servo is working. And also the ESC. Now I can install the servo saver to the servo. And I use the subtrim function on my radio to set it on the correct position. Yes, it looks fine. Step 30 is the installation of the steering linkage. The instructions say to cut off the end part of the rod ends. Then I can screw them to the rods. And adjust it to the correct length. Now the servo holders. And connect the rods to the servo horn. Step 31 is the installation of all the electronics on the chassis. First the steering servo. It holds with two screws from below. And as you can see, I also attached a receiver and controller with double-sided tape. I installed the on-off switch above this hole. This way I can reach it from below, even with the body mounted. Using a Dremel, I removed some material from the chassis here to make more space for the motor cables. Step 32 is the adjustment of the steering linkage. To do this, loosen the two screws of the servo and move the servo to the left or right to bring the axles into a straight position. Step 33 and 34 is the cutting and painting of the body. Fortunately, this work is already done. The body and driver figure comes cut and painted out of the box. Step 35 is to install the headlights and rear body mounts. At this point I'm going to install LEDs and paint the inner part of the buckets in silver. Here you can see the result. The black line around is a sticker. Here I screw on the rear holders. And the headlights. This aluminum tape reinforced the body. Step 36 is the preparation of the driver figure. First I screw the driver's helmet together and then I have to paint some details of his face. Step 37 is to apply the decals. First I need to cut them out with a sharp knife. Now I apply it in the right place and fix it on one side with adhesive tape. Next I remove half of the support film and apply the decal. Now I can peel off the rest of the backing film and apply the sticker completely. This makes it easy to apply the sticker in the right place without bubbles and wrinkles. And I can apply smaller stickers directly. As you can see, all the decals are added. Also on the driver figure. And the head is painted with some details. Next, I can screw on the head. And the driver figure is finished. I 
I also soldered all the wires of the LEDs and connect them to the receiver. So the LED should work. Step 38 is the installation of the driver figure. This holds with three body pins. And also at step 38 we need to finish the roll cage. And on the damper belongs a decal. Step 39 is preparing the side nets and number plates. A template is included, so it's easy to find the correct dimensions and positions. Here I marked it with a paint marker so I can cut and drill it. Here you can see the result. Now I can screw on the holder and adjust it on the correct position. Step 40 is to attach the cockpit nets to the roll cage. This is done with cable ties. Step 41 is to install the number plates and antenna. The stickers are attached and it can be installed with a screw. Step 42 is the build of the wheels. First the front wheels. And the rear wheels. Here we need to pay attention to the rotation direction, which is marked on the tire. With this super glue I can glue the tires. With this small needle it's easy to apply a little bit of glue. Step 43 is attaching the wheels. First, two bearings on the front wheels. And secure it with a nut. At the rear, first a bearing, then a pin, and the wheel spacer. Step 44 is to add the roof and installing the body. And here it is, what a good looking buggy! The final step, 45, is to build the battery cover and the installation of the battery. With this metal bracket, the battery door is ready. I will use this Tusa LiPo from Swaytronic. It fits perfectly and has a very high capacity of 7200 milliamps. I was able to run the battery cables directly under the body, which doesn't look too bad in my opinion. Now I turn it on, and as you can see the LEDs work. Now this was it. I say thanks for watching and your patience during this build. I hope you like the result. In my opinion it's an absolutely gorgeous buggy. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.